Hey everybody, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to The God of Crawling Eyes. The God of Crawling Eyes is a short RPG Maker horror game made for the Halloween 2014 contest. It stars a colorblind student who, while at school, gets trapped with his two friends in a kind of Lovecraftian situation. The game takes advantage of his colorblindness by having the world be monochrome, while only certain puzzles and key items have a distinct color to them. Mom? How will I know if it's working? If you're like 40% of the last trial group, you'll start seeing colors. Yeah, but how will I know if they're the right colors? What do you mean? Yellow, blue, green. I know they mean something to you, but to me, they're just words. They don't mean anything. Don't worry so much, Max. They'll mean something to you soon. But what if my yellow isn't the same as yours? What if what I see as yellow, you see as green? What if it's some color that no one's ever seen before? Hmm. I guess we wouldn't know. You can only stop taking them if you don't like what you see. Yeah. It's just that sometimes I hate that I don't have normal eyes. Come on, Max. You know I hate when you talk like that. They're my eyes! The monitor carries the gene, you know. Just try to stay positive at school today. Hey, Max. Hey, Chase. Did you catch the stories of the macabre last night? I must have forgotten about it. I've just had so much in my mind lately. Hey, man. It's not like you owe me. You owe it to yourself to watch it. This week's episode was called The Unseen Terror. There was this giant squid monster in the lake, which just happened to be where all the high schoolers went to make out. You'd think the girl would ask her boyfriend where they were going, and when he says, Oh, I thought we could have sex in a blanket next to a body of water, so black and deep that we can't possibly see the creatures dwelling beneath. The girl would put an end to the date. I guess that would be a pretty short movie. Anyway. You can totally tell that the tentacles are rubber when they come out of the water. But there's a moment when they're just under the surface. Like that scene in Jaws, where you stop thinking that you're watching a movie, and it's like the monster is real, and the danger is real, and your heart's going crazy. This, this answer is very important. I can just tell this is going to completely decide whether or not I get a band ending. Don't spoil it. I still want to catch a rerun tonight. Right, man. Sorry. You know how worked up I get sometimes. It's okay. Don't look now, but Lily's at 9 o'clock. What should I do? Don't look at me. After I asked Sarah Jarvis out, her and her friends giggle whenever they walk by. Hmm. Stalk her from afar, or talk to her? Eh, let's be alpha. I think I'm going to talk to her. Gotcha, man. I'll catch you later. Um... 
You know, I just noticed there's only two lockers here, and they're conveniently next to each other. Huh. Hey, you sit next to me in biology. Max, right? You know my name. Miss Blackmore calls it every day. Plus, it's written on your book cover. Yeah, my mom does that so I won't lose it. Oh. Not that I asked her to or anything. I'm just playing around. My mom used to write my initials on my socks with magic marker until I was in junior high. See, this went perfectly fine. Say, about that guy you hang out with... Chase? My friend, Sarah, caught him staring at her when she came out of the bathroom once. He just kind of gives me the creeps. About Chase. Let's be honest, I gotta, I can't, you know, betray my bros. I know he's a little weird, but he's my friend. Right, sorry. I, I didn't mean to. It's okay. He's just awkward around girls. Sarah's a bit of a gossip anyway. I'm sure she blew it out of proportion. See, everything just went fine. You just gotta be confident in yourself. Let's walk to class together. Sure. Well, this is... this turns out to be a good day. The circulatory system contains essential components for life. While blood's primary purpose is to carry oxygen and nutrients throughout the body, it is composed of several different parts, such as white blood cells that combat foreign substances. Could anyone tell me the cell that's responsible for clotting? Platelets? Correct, Lily. It's good to know that at least one of my students did the assigned readings. Max, why don't you tell me the technical term for platelets? Um... You only gave me like a half second to answer. Wow. Next time I ask you a question, Mr. Chieko, Make sure that you know the answer. Sorry, ma'am. Max Chieko. Funny fact is his name actually translates to, uh, essentially what means blind. When these platelets, or thrombocytes, are exposed via a cut or scrape, it's actually not the air that causes them to activate. Instead, the collagen in the skin that is normally not present in the bloodstream makes contact with the thrombocytes and causes them to clot. This clot is only a temporary solution to the problem. The thrombocytes also secrete chemicals that attract fibroblasts, which are player to damage vessels. For most small wounds, platelets work fine. But there are times when the blood flow is too great for the platelets to work fast enough such as a sharp knife to the neck. Mr. Chico, could you please tell the principal that the custodian still hasn't replaced this light? Mr. Chico? Right. Sorry. Funny locker layout in this school. Hmm, I just realized I don't have a menu option. Locked. I think this is the right place. Hello there. Principal Lieberman. Hmm. Yes? Miss Blackmore sent me. The light? 
Yes, sir. The fluorescent bulbs we ordered last week still haven't arrived. I'd advise you to tell Miss Blackmore to be patient, but she would probably bite your head off. <laughs> uh, it was a joke. Right. Just tell her that I'll take care of it soon. Yes, sir. Hello, old friend. Hey, Max. What are you doing here? Miss Coburn caught me watching the Crimson Death instead of doing my typing drills. Since I'm a repeat offender, Principal Lieberman is supposed to elevate my punishment. Whatever that means. I would have gone in, but I heard voices in there. Why were you here? The lights in Miss Blackmore's room are starting to flicker, so she sent me to ask about fixing them. Man, she's such a bitch. I'm not looking forward to seeing her for a period. Actually... Miss Blackmore said something weird in class earlier. It really creeped me out. What do you mean? She was talking about blood clotting and how a knife wound to the throat wouldn't clot fast enough. Well, I guess that's true. Did she threaten to cut someone's throat? No, but it was the way she said it, like she was some kind of psycho bitch. Really intense. Like it was a fret. And the weirdest thing was no one in the class seemed to notice but me. I'm going to make the call that his color blindness has somehow given him a third sight. Like he can see the colors of evil or something, or intention. Kind of like how Pocahontas saw the colors of the wind. Now I'm really not looking forward to third period. This is just like Murder High School 3, only with less tits. I don't know. It was probably nothing. I better get back to class. All right. Later, man. And Chase was never seen again. What's this way? Well, he said that he'll take care of it soon. That would be great news if I had any faith in our principal's competence, but I suppose it's the best I could hope for. You may take your seat, Mr. Chico. As I was saying, mammals and birds have a four-chambered heart, as do some primitive fish though the chambers are ordered sequentially. Reptiles, on the other hand... I'm seeing colors. Max, are you alright? Your dress. It's beautiful. And the apple. Saying it's your dress is beautiful randomly in class seems really weird. But at the same time, it sounds real funny. It's beautiful. Um, thank you? <laughs> oh. Oh, how to be awkward in class 101. I've never... I normally can't see. And now we really can't see. You... What did you do? I didn't do anything. I'm standing right here. You think I did this? It wasn't me. Well, no one accused you. Wait. Where's Miss Blackmore? D 
do you think she could have done this? We need to get out of here. I'm not leaving this classroom. Are you crazy? Whoever did this is out there. You can go if you want, but I'm not taking that risk. Wait. Please, don't go, Max. I'll call the police as soon as I can. Interesting. So you can't open a menu, but it does give you like a checkpoint save. Janitor's closet. It's a bottle of natural red. The window cleaner. The label says, Danger. It contains ammonia. It's an old extension cord. Should I take it? Yeah, let's take it. Uh, what are you? This is the building's a ventilation pipe. You'll come to use later. Probably when we need to gas out the killer. But in all seriousness, um, why would that girl automatically assume I did it when there's blood footprints leading out the door? Well, that could have been someone escaping from the murder, but still, you saw everyone get killed almost instantly, and I'm, you know... I don't know, I'm just thinking too hard about it. Yeah. That looks like a normal room. The vent is open. Should I close it? Okay, so there definitely is going to be a vent puzzle of some kind. Perhaps I need to use the vents, dump the ammonia, close the vents in all the other rooms, and leave that one open in the pr uh, principal's room to kill whatever is in there. It's a black book. There's no text written on the cover. Should I take it? Yeah, go for it. Alright, let's close all these other vents. Was there one in here? Mm-hmm. See, the apple is not a useful item. Close the vent in here. It'd be funny if there was like a bad ending resolve around that. Where you didn't close all the vents. And you kind of just end up killing everyone. You may find out that's true. It's a bottle of bleach. The janitor must have been cleaning the bathroom. Yep, uh, it's, this is exactly where it's going, that means. Oh boy. I better not go in there. Yep, this is a perfectly fine time to obey gender rules. American flag, huh? The well's been locked and boarded up. Why would there be a well in the middle of the school? Hmm. Okay, I think that's all the vents. Now that I can see the colors of the stripes, I almost feel patriotic. Should I take it? Yeah, sure. Max, why are the doors locked? Are you serious? I told you they were locked. When I got back from the principal's office, my entire class was just gone. Do you have any idea what's going on? I don't know, man. I'd heard rumors, but I just don't know. What do you mean? Okay. So remember last year when Travis Miller disappeared? 
Yeah, there was an Amber Alert. I remember seeing his parents on the news. Didn't they end up saying he ran away? He didn't run away. He was murdered. Right here, at the school. Certain students and members of the faculty are part of some weird cult. Travis was going to be initiated into it, but he got cold feet. They killed him, so he couldn't tell anyone about the cult. I don't know. Mm, it sounds a little too weird. This is probably an important decision. Let's go say it's a rumor for now. You might be letting all those horror movies get to you. It has to be a rumor. I don't know if you're right or wrong, but I'm going to find out. I'm heading to the library. There might be something there that can tell us more about the cult. Alright, so we got an extension cord, bleach, some ammonia, an American flag, and a dark book of terrible secrets. Uh oh. What the fuck is that? Get away from her! Are you alright? I'm... I'm so scared, Max. Lily, if we're going to make it through this, we have to work together. Can I count on your help? You're right. I'll make sure to do my best. Wait, what are you doing back here? The exit's locked. We're going to have to find another way out. Well, that... thing... came out of a small hole in the wall. Maybe we can find an entrance to the crawl space. Maybe. I'll check around. Maybe Chase has found something. Yeah, you'll think you'll be safe here. So what's up, man? You find anything? That book looks so ominous. Can I see it? Sure. There's nothing will go wrong here. Alright. Let's see what we've got here. Well? Nancy Drew in the Mystery of the Black Cat Syndicate. Someone just removed the dust stack. Someone just removed the dust jacket. Don't worry. I've got an idea. I've seen this work in House of Bloody Hands. And about 10,000 other movies. Let me know if you run into another clue, Miss Drew. <laughs> well, wait a minute. I found a slip of paper in the book. It says, I have found the key that sees. They can't know I have it, so I'm dropping it in the well. Whoever finds this note, be aware the key that sees. Don't try to get to it yourself. Take this note to the police. I'm only writing this in case they get to me first. Travis. Do you think it was really written by him? The well was boarded up right after Travis went missing. Maybe we should look in there. Is that really the best idea right now? It's the only lead we have. The key to the well's padlock is probably in the principal's office. Maybe I can find something else out by the time you get that. Alright, we're uh... We're smoking that beast out. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, holy Christ. I didn't think he'd open the door. I figured he'd be smart about, like, there's something in there. We should probably shouldn't open the door. But no, I just took a literal.
Alright, you son of a bitch. When the ammonia from the window cleaner mixes with the bleach, I could fill a school of chlorine gas. But the gas will just escape through the ventilation pipe. This is the building's ventilation pipe. This flag is big enough to cover the pipe, but the wind will probably just blow it away. We got an extension cord. We could wrap it around the, uh, thing. Well, looks like we need something heavy. I figured the extension cord would just wrap around it, though, but, you know, whatever. Oh, okay. If I suck this flag, it should cling to the ventilation pipe. Should I do it? Hi, uh, evil me. How's Annie? The flag doesn't look so majestic anymore, but I'll get the job done. How's Annie? How's Annie? No evil me this time. You pretty much just gotta go back out and come back in and get rid of him. So there definitely are some de uh oh. Music change. But there definitely are deaths in this game. Not quite which is house level, but we'll see. Since the flag is soaked, it should cling to the pipe. Should I drape the flag over the pipe? Thanks, Old Glory. You've served your country today. By killing a bunch of freaky demonic beings. Alright, save file. Should I dump both chemicals into the AC unit? I hope I did the right thing. Now, if I left the vents open, I really do suspect that would have led to a bad end. You would have got down here and someone would have been dead. But since everyone seems to be fine, because I closed all the vents, except the one in the other rooms, of course. It's too late. The other room's already filled with chlorine gas. Am I supposed to be staying in here with the chlorine gas? The key doesn't seem to be in Principal Lieberman's desk, or under him. Sorry, Principal Lieberman. Uh, can't... breathe. Maybe not too smart to go into room with chlorine gas. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, that worked out. We got the key. Hey, bro. Hey, Max. I have the key. Did you find it, Avi? Interesting. Well, I was looking around the bookshelves and felt a draft coming from around here. Let's check it out. What is it? It looks like a door, but I have no clue how to open it. Maybe you should go ahead and check the well. There seems to be a hollowed out section. Maybe something fits into it. There was a bunch of these posters everywhere. Max, thank god it's you. I'm glad you're still alright. I was trying to find exactly where the creature came from earlier, and, well, might as well show you. 
more than one of these things. What is it? I don't know. It's giving me bad vibes, so... Be careful, Max. So let's see, there's more than one of these damn things. There was one also in the principal's room. Of course, that room is filled with chlorine gas, which I really don't like. Hey, little guy. Well, no choice but to open up the spooky well. The well's been locked and boarded up. Should I unlock it? Sure. This extension cord should be strong enough to support my weight. Should I fasten it to the side of the well? This can only go wrong. It's so deep, I can't see the bottom. Should I climb it? Yeah, sure, whatever. I, I have a death wish. Uh-oh, spooky scary skeleton. Oh, God. The rumor is about Travis. There's a stone that's been carved into the shape of an eye among the bones. Should I take it? Yeah. They didn't like that. The darkness is coming. Oh, Jesus. The darkness will devour us all. Through Max, save the girl. Hey, uh, we, we can't exactly go out. The darkness is here. What's the matter? Uh-oh. No. No! Hey, man. What's wrong? You're shaking, buddy. Yeah, this is... Ah! Well, old friend, sorry, I moved the girl over you. That stone looks like it would fit in this hollow. Let me see it. Do you think this is a way out? I don't know. It's making me feel uncomfortable. We don't really have a choice. There's... something... outside. Our only option is pressing forward. If you say so, I... trust you, Max. Inventory's gone. I don't know why we fought this with lead out. It's all right. We'll find a way. I don't like enclosed spaces, you know. I'm not claustrophobic or anything. It's just that one time I went to this lock-in at my friend's church. We were playing hide-and-seek. And see, I've always tried to be the best at everything. School, sports, even games. So, when we started playing, I tried to find the best hiding spot. The janitor had left the grate to the crawl space open, so I went in. It was damp and cold, and mud streaked my dress. But I didn't mind, because I was the best at hide-and-seek. No one would find me there. I must have stayed down there for hours, before I was sure that I had won the game. But when I tried to leave, I found the grate locked back into the entrance. At first, I crawled around in the darkness, pressing my hands against the walls, looking for another exit. Then I waited for someone to find me, but I was too good at hide-and-seek, and no one did. I don't know how much time passed before I started screaming. I screamed and screamed, but no one could hear me down there. I thought they must have gone home by then. I screamed until my voice went out, and then I laid next to the grate 
and waited for someone to come by. I tried to sleep, but I could feel the worms ripping in the dirt beside me. I swatted at the spiders that crawled up my face before they could get into my ears. When they found me, do you know how long I had been down there? Only twelve hours. I thought it had been days. The other kids thought it was funny. To them, I had just been playing hide-and-seek for eleven hours too long while they were upstairs sleeping. To me, though, my body will never forget what it was like to be stuck in that dark, narrow space, unable to move, unable to see. No one there to help. If I had any idea, I wouldn't have asked you to come in here until I knew it was safe. That's okay. I have to be the best, remember? If I don't start dealing with my fears, they'll just hold me back. That was for being so sweet. Why could I have transferred to a normal school? What do you want from us? Looks a lot like my friend. To see the black and rot hiding deeper than our souls. What is this? Let go of me! We summon you to soak the ground with the blood of an innocent. Max, hold on! Quiet girl, a time will come when you will face the god of the crawling eyes. The time comes for us all. Restrain her. That is like Jesus Christ. How? I've been taking judo since I was five, bitch. Holy shit! One more step, and I snap her neck! God, you are awesome. I'm glad I picked you. You have no idea what you're doing, child. Cram it. Move over, Max. Uh, sure. Stop it! If you tie me here... We better get out of here. Agreed. Untie me! Quick! There are things man is not supposed to see. Great beings who have existed since time began. Who see us as nothing but specks in the middle of this dark sea. You were great back there. But whatever happened to my friend Chase? Hmm, whatever. Like I said, I like to be the best at everything I do. Max, what we saw... It's over, Lily. We'll talk to the police as soon as we can. They'll investigate everything. But... Can they do anything? I feel like we witnessed something beyond us. Something we were never meant to see. Whether or not we saw it, it doesn't matter. It was always there, right? All we can do is not to let the fear get to us. I guess you're right. Which of chases still in that room. Still pissed that I forgot about him. 
You chose a girl over me, your best friend, you bastard? In my defense, that girl do judo. You've unlocked the trophy room. Auditorium? That must be the key that sees. Hand over. I bet it opens this door. It worked. Want to see what's back there? You don't really have a choice. There's... something... Outside. Only option is pressing forward. Heavy. Well, I've been itching to check this out anyway. See you on the other side. So we seem to have the option of going either of the friends. I have a feeling how nice you are to them has an effect, maybe. So it's four endings. I'm assuming each friend, and possibly a bad ending for each one. So if you're like a prick, they won't like save you.
that's it for the God of Crawling Eyes. The God of Crawling Eyes is one of those kind of short but sweet games. I think it really needed more time to the game itself, but it does have to be done by that contest and all, so it's completely understandable. But the kind of black and white with the puzzle highlights, which could have been used a little more, um, very, like I said, very similar to Palette Forget Me Not. The game definitely got the horror aspects down. It just needed that time. So you can play with that kind of gimmick more. You can have puzzles built around the gimmick, and then you can also have a longer build up to the atmosphere. So maybe a sequel is deserved, or a um, spiritual sequel starring maybe a similar character. Anyway, thank you all for watching me play God of the Crawling Eyes. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.